Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Kathy. <laughs> Hi, this is Kathy from Easy Sunday Club. And this is Nam from Easy Sunday Club. We're excited to make today's video because I will be answering one of the most commonly asked questions from our previous popular video about greeting cards. Uh, I will show you how I make a greeting card template that you can use to print your own greeting cards at home to hopefully inspire and enable you to start your greeting card business finally. As a alternative, if you, after watching the video, you realize that you don't want to put in the work or Photoshop is too hard to figure out, I have two other options. I have uploaded a Photoshop template that you can purchase for a very small amount and use right away. And towards the end of the video, I will also show you two alternatives to Photoshop that doesn't require you to pay a monthly fee. One of them is even free. So hopefully with all these options, you'll find something that works for you. And uh, this is the template I'm going to show you how to make. This is for a landscape card and uh, the letter size paper here, which is what I always use for my cards, will create two cards perfectly. But if you purchase my template, I will also provide a template for vertical or a portrait card as well. So you don't have to reformat it. And once you figure out how to make the card template, you can jump over and watch our how to make a greeting card video. Yes, if this is your first time on our channel, make sure to watch the greeting card video where we talk about how to create the card from beginning to end. And we also have another video that you can watch with the link above that shows you how to package cards. For... If you're selling them on your e-commerce store to send to customers. Yes. So we got you all covered. Now let's get to the tutorial. So in Photoshop, we're going to start a new file. I have Adobe Photoshop 2020, which is the latest version when this video is made. But if you have an older version, that's fine too. Everything should, you should still cover everything we need here. In my version under print, I have a preset called the letter size, eight and a half by 11 inch, at 300 ppi, which is exactly what I need. If you don't have that preset, that's totally fine. Just input it on the right, eight and a half by 11. Orientation, we're going to do landscape today. So it's actually 11 by eight and a half since uh, we're going to make this card template and 300 ppi, RGB and create. Now that we have a blank canvas, make sure that you have a ruler open or showing in your Photoshop. If you don't, just go up to view and select, make sure ruler selected, or you can do control R. So with this blank canvas, I'm going to draw a ruler down halfway and across halfway. So the length of this canvas is 11 inch, so halfway would be two and a half, oh, sorry. Half would be five and a half, and eight and a half is the height, so half of that would be four and a quarter. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but in my version of Photoshop, it snaps perfectly to that. That's why having the ruler open is important, because now it opens, now it breaks up the template into a four-piece grid, which will help us get to this point. Next, I'm going to copy and paste my card design. So this is what it looks like when it's printed out, and this is what it looks like when it's folded. Obviously, I don't have it cut here. So when you fold it, the back side, want to make sure that the logo is facing, you no, know, it's in the right direction when it's folded. So when you're looking at the template itself, the logo it has to be upside down and the design itself is right side up. So I'll take my design here. I already have the design pre-formatted just for simplicity and copying this entire image and pasting it here. 
Again, I've pre-sized it, but if your image isn't sized perfectly or it's not in the right resolution, you may need to enlarge it. Hopefully your default image isn't too small that you have to, because if you have to enlarge it a lot, uh, it may not print out in the right resolution. So just make sure that if it is a design that you're scanning in, that the resolution is at least 300, if not more. If your art is small, then you want to scan it to 400 or higher. So now I'll kind of fill out the image to entire um, quarter of this template. And again, you'll see my design bleeds all the way to the edge. And I have a printer that allows me to print borderless. So everything will get printed without like a white border all around. So making just verify if your printer has that capability. Uh, if it doesn't, it's not end of the world. You can try to just use designs that doesn't touch the border. Next thing I'm going to do is create or is import the logo over. So I have my logo open already. I'm just gonna copy this image over to here. And remember what I said earlier that this logo needs to be upside down because when you fold it, it will be right side up. So I'm going to just turn it around. I'll show you how I did it again. So. With the image selected, um, if you go towards the corner, mouse over towards the corner, this two-way curvy arrow will show up and just turn it. And if you turn it while pressing down shift, it will snap to 30 degree angles and just keep rotating till it's exactly upside down. I think this logo is too big for my needs. So again, I'm selecting it. And to select it, I press Control, oh, Command T on the Mac or Control T. And again, just taking this time, I'm mousing over to the corner square here to resize it smaller. If your resizing doesn't snap proportionally, like if you're doing you know, when you're trying to resize if it looks like this, it's probably because it's not set to proportional uh, scale. So if you go up to the top nav, there's a little magnet here. It's going to maintain your aspect ratio. Just make sure that icon is selected and now you can resize it down. So I'll just resize it down here. And maybe you want to add additional details. On my card, I usually indicate that it's a blank card and where it's made, why my, why my website. If you want to just keep it minimalist, you can stay that way. But let's see, I want to say made, my text should be in black. Made in Los Angeles, California. And click Command T again to select it. And just remember to turn it upside down. It's just easier to edit the text when it's not upside down because then you have to do mental gymnastics and you know look at it upside down while typing. But I just typed everything first and turn it upside down, place it right under my logo. And that's good for me for this tutorial at least. You can decide what you want to put in the back. Sometimes you also you know some makers also make their own stamps that they can stamp in the back, but obviously that's a manual step. So if you want to just automate things, just have it done in the template. So with this left side done, I'm going to link all the layers. I'll pull it up here. Link the three layers that I just created the image, the logo, and the text. So, I'll, so I'm highlighting all of them, pressing shift, and selecting all the layers, right click, now go to link layers. That way, whatever you do with one layer, you, the other one, um, the other ones will follow. And I'm gonna just 
duplicate layers here and move it to the right. See, even though they're still separate layers, I was able to move all of them together while only selecting one of them. So if you want to keep the things clean, another option is, which is actually what I do, but I want to, again, give you at least a couple of options. So I'll undo with everything still in separate layers. If I know for sure this is the card, the design I'm going for, I'm just going to merge layers. So I have all three layers selected, right click and select merge layers. This way you don't have to link the layers first. You can just take this layer, right click there, card, right. And select again with command T and move it to the right. This way you know for sure you have an exact replica of the card uh, times two so that when you print it out you have identical cards and you don't have to create you know a card design again on the right. So that was pretty sh straightforward I think. Um, now with the template done make sure to save it, save your files and in some cases you may want to convert the image to CMYK if you want to print to um, a physical card, obviously. But in my case, because my printer is has ICC profiles that calibrates the color on its own, again, like, I can't speak to specifics, but I haven't had to convert my image to CMYK because my printer will just do it. And if you want to do a, see a review of our printer, we have an Epson. Uh, you can check the show notes below to see uh, Nam walking through our printer. So that the printer is able to recognize the colors and try to match the print color with our on-screen color, or actually with my original art. So that's it for this landscape template. The only difference is with the portrait card, your design is going to be on the left and the logo is going to be on the right and it's not going to be upside down because when you're folding the card, this is the front of your card and this is the back of your card. So your design needs to be here and the logo needs to be here. But this is how it looks like because when you're folding the card in portrait layout, the front of the card is going to be to your right and then the logo and company information is going to be on the left. So in on screen it's going to look like this. Make sure your image is on the right and your uh, company information is on the left and it doesn't have to be upside down. All right, so if you plan on using Photoshop for this, then you can skip the rest of this video, but I just wanted to give you a couple of alternatives, cheaper alternatives to Photoshop that you can use and have the same result. The first one is Affinity Photo. It is a one-time purchase of a photo editing program that you can use to create your own template. It's currently at 50% off. They've had that sale for a while, so I don't know how long, how much longer it's gonna go for, uh, but it's currently $25 for a desktop program for Mac and Windows if you want to make that one-time investment instead of having to pay for a monthly recurring uh, subscription with Photoshop. Their features are very similar. Their user interface might take a little bit, a couple of days to get used to if you are used to Photoshop, but I find it pretty user-friendly and easy to figure out and um, yeah, based on what you need to accomplish this task, they definitely have everything you need. Uh, the second one is a free option, which is Canva, canva.com. 
It is a, a web-based design tool uh, for people who want to you know, create presentations, brochures, flyers, uh, and as well as something like a car template. One call out I do want to make about Canva is their, their capability is pretty limited. So when you create your canvas for the car template, just make sure that you are increasing the size of the canvas so that the image when you export it is still high enough resolution for uh, to be printed out as a greeting card. So for example, if my card template is set as letter size, eight and a half by 11 inch, I wanted to triple that uh, just to compensate for not being able to set the, uh, the resolution because on, on Photoshop and Infinity Photo, you can set a resolution of let's say 300 dpi but you can't do that on canvas so i would just triple the pixels of the canvas and uh, what i did is just tripling it to 2550 pixel by 3300 pixel um, that will give you an eight and a half by 11. so when you export the template at the end it's going to be a larger file and uh, your design will be um, the Design, the quality of your design won't be compromised. Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope you find this tutorial useful. Again, I, I do try to give different alternatives so you're not married to Photoshop or not having to purchase my template. Um, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm and uh, Check out my other videos in the channel as well. And if you haven't already, we would love your support by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.